going to have a quick look at the owl cross stitch now and in your pack you will get a lot of different suggestions you can do any of these or you can do something completely your own design so uh, well, I'm doing the heart one at the minute and I have just been following the diagram that's on there and just following putting the stitches in exactly where it says so I'm going to put this last heart in here and I need to come one in on that top row so I'm going to come one across and then just with my needle from the back bring that through to the front now I've got no knot in there and I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail but I'm going to pull the tail across so it's going to be caught by the stitches that I'm going to put in to secure that first row now one of the other great tips for cross stitch is um, to always work in the same direction and by that what I mean is all of your stitches that are on the bottom of the cross go in one direction in my case uh, right to left and then all my top stitches come in the other direction left to right and that will give you a much neater finish than just um, you know doing them haphazardly. Now I'm following this pattern on here and for the heart I've got to put two in, I've got to miss one and then I've got to put another two in. So I'm just going to miss that one and then come back in for another two. And all the time that I'm stitching I am holding in place the thread on the back. And then when I turn this over you'll be able to see instead of having a knot my thread's actually caught under all of those stitches. I'm going to keep my finger on there for now because we're going to come back the other way. So I'll just pop that through there. And as I said earlier, you want to do them all in one direction and then come back with your top piece of your cross stitch in the other direction. So that's exactly what we're going to do now is just come back along and do those. And what this will do is will provide a really good securing point for all of those stitches that we've added and it will tie in that thread at the back so there's no requirement for a knot, you've just got a nice flat finish. So I'm coming towards the end of this row now and um, once I get to the end I need to turn it around and go the other way but my next row needs to start where this row has finished because realistically I need to come back up in that same point but if I do that as it is now that stitch will just come back out so to allow me to start the row in that position it's stuck around this way there we go I'm just going to flip it over and because I want to come back into this point I'm actually just going to take the thread round tuck it through that last stitch making sure I'm not going to get caught on any of the other stitches there and that will allow me to take it back down that same hole without the stitch popping out and then away I go again with my full row of stitches so you fill the whole thing in and you can as I said use one of the patterns that we've got on here or you can choose your own and then once you've got enough bits securing those threads in place you can just trim these excess pieces off to create a nice neat back.